I found a cool Hunger Games simulator, so I thought I would put Poppy Playtime characters in it and see them fight to the death. So here's our districts. So I will not be making any of uh, these districts my favorite, by the way. So it is a mystery who will win to me and you, the viewer. So first we have Catnip and Dog Day for obvious reasons. Our second district is Candy Cat and Cappy because you know, they're both cats. The third district is Huggy Wuggy and Mommy Longlegs. I don't have a specific reason, but I just put them together because I don't know what to put Huggy Wuggy with. Our district four is Ollie and the prototype because I mean, they're the same thing, but it's just a theory so far since it's not confirmed yet. Our next district is Boogiebot and Sleep Well. I mean, Sleep Well isn't a character, but I just had to throw something in that was music to go along with Boogiebot, so I don't know. Our next district, again, is Poppy and Kissing Missy because, you know, Poppy rides on Kissing Missy's shoulder. You know, it's all cute and stuff, yeah, but. Our seventh district is Lemon and Picky Piggy because, you know, Picky Piggy will eat the lemon. But, I mean, they're on the same district, so, I mean, they're shaking hands at the moment. Our eighth district is Boxy Boo and Box, for obvious reasons. And our ninth district is Nightmare Huggy and Nightmare Catnap. Our tenth and eleventh district is PJ Pugapillar and Brawn and Raby Baby and Bubblegum. And our twelfth district is Hoppy Hopscotch and Bunzo Bunny, because they're both, um, bunnies. Okay, so first... Box steps off her pot podium too soon. Oh, and blows up. Okay, so we lost Box already. Mommy Longleg stabs Catnap while his back is turned. Oh, I did not expect that to happen. I guess our answer, um, who would win in a fight is answered. Poppy severely slices bubblegum with the sword. Okay, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Ollie slashes Sleepwell with a knife as he runs him too and out of the cornucopia. Braun grabs a backpack, but it's not zipped and most of the supplies comes out. I mean, Braun would probably make a joke out of that prototype grabs a trident and food and retreats retreats baby rabie baby almost kills prototype with a throwing knife but misses okay this makes really good sense first of all the prototype um he's probably gonna win he's really smart and rabie baby probably missed because he's so thin i mean he's a claw <laughs> he's walking around so far from recording this video we don't know uh, what the prototype fully looks like, so I get I she would probably miss. Boogie Bot and Nightmare Nightmare Huggy share everything they gathered before running. Okay, they're they're friends, I guess. PJ Pugpillar is in shock for a moment and then ret retreats away from the cornucopia. Kissy Missy grabs a backpack, but it's not zipped and most of the supplies falls out. Picky Piggy gathers as much food as she can. Okay, that makes sense. Huggy Wuggy takes a spear before leaning on the corn corn. Cornucopia. Bunzo Bunny takes a spear leaning on the cornucopia too. Boxy Boo runs into the cornucopia and tries to hide from the others. Lyman dashes to the forest to avoid the bloodbath. I mean, um, going back to Boxy Boo running into the cornucopia and hiding. That makes sense because, I mean, he's, he likes to hide. And Lyman run, running into the forest does not make sense. I mean, he can't walk. But I mean, this is fiction. Dog Day gathers as much food as he can. Nightmare Catnap gathers as much food as he can too. Cat Bee also gathers as much food as she can. And Hoppy Hopscotch thinks about grabbing supplies, but she decides to run for cover instead. Candy Cat gathers as much food as she can. Okay, so our survivors are almost everyone, and the only people who died are Box, Catnap, Sleep Well, and Bubblegum. Rest in peace. I, I've not, I've never watched Hunger Games, so I don't know what the bloodbath means, but um, I think they, that's where, when they died. My life be like, uh, yeah. Um, Nightmare Catnap shoots two arrows into Dog Day's body. Poppy's pricked by thorns while picking up berries. Braun tries to kill Ollie, but he's able to escape. Boogie Bot receives a water spile from a sponsor. Kissimisi runs away from Bunzo Buzzy. Raby Baby throws rocks at Candy Cat from a hiding spot in a tree. Huggy Wuggy discovers a water source. And Boxy Boo sprains his ankle while running away from Hopsy Hopscotch. PJ Puckapoo climbs a tree to make a resting spot. Cappy camouflages herself in a cave type area. Oh, she's pretty yellow. I don't know how that would work. Nightmare Huggy fishes in the water for some food. Mommy Longlegs asks Picky Piggy to have mercy on her. Prototype sees Lyman but decides to stay quiet and let him pass. Come on, Prototype, you could have killed him. You could have stabbed him with your hand. I really want Lyman to win. I mean, come on. Lyman has to win. Uh, but anyways, um, Dog Day was the only person who died. And yes, um, it is, a, uh, this does say, uh, the day or wh when he died. So, yeah, I think it should be, like, how he died, but, I mean, that's fine. Ollie, Picky Piggy, and Mommy Longlegs hunt down 
and kill prototype. Cappy, Lyman, and Boogie Bot discuss a game plan for the morning. So people are teaming up. Um, I think I think Picky Piggy and Mommy Longlegs had mercy on each other, or Mommy Longlegs had her mercy and now they're teamed up. But yeah, I guess they're teaming up now. Hobby Hopscotch falls asleep, shivering from a fever. PJ Pugapillar receives an iPad from an unknown sponsor. Kissy Missy is unable to start fire and is extremely uncomfortable. Candy Can involuntarily passes out from a sheer exhaustion. Bronze stays awake all night on pure adrenaline. Huggy Wuggy climbs a tree to try to get some rest. Raby Baby begs for Poppy to kill her. She refuses, keeping Baby Raby alive. And finally, Nightmare Catnap leaves Boxy Boo, Bunzo Bunny, and Huggy Wuggy because he should not like their plan to kill more people. Okay, so the only person who died was Prototype, which is pretty surprising. Not much people are dying, but it's slowly going into chaos. Hello, I was wondering if you could play that song again. Hmm, which one, man? The one that goes... Kissy Missy feeds Lyman an allergen, killing him! No! It was only day two! You could have kept going! No! Kissy, why? Lyman, how did you eat it? You are a Lyman. You can't eat things. Oh my god, Lyman, come on. Raby Baby poisons Huggy Wuggy's drink, but Huggy Wuggy knowingly switches drinks and Raby Baby dies. Okay, Huggy Wuggy's kind of smart. PJ Pugapillar and Hobby Hopscotch hunt for other tributes. Bunzo Bunny fishes in the water for some food. And Nightmare Catnip is pricked by thorns while picking berries. All he questions is sanity. Braun has a mild panic attack. Boogie Bot begs for Cat B to kill him. She refuses, keeping Boogie Bot alive. And finally, Boxy Boo makes a slingshot with materials from the ground. And so, the only people who died is Raby Baby and unfortunately, Lyman. Rest in peace. <laughs> Picky Piggy attempts to climb a super tall tree, but falls to her death. Oh dang, rest in peace. Cappy receives a gourmet five course meal from an unknown sponsor. Oh dang, Cappy's eating really good. I mean, I wouldn't eat it because like, what if it's poison? Nightmare Catnap sets up a camp for the night. Kissy Missy looks at the night stars and sky and wonder if it's real. Boogie Boss starts a campfire with materials on the ground. And also Poppy questions her sanity. Nightmare Catnap receives fresh food and materials from an unknown sponsor. Bunzo Bunny, PJ Pugapillar, and Boxy Boo sleep in shifts, each hoping the other two don't betray them. Happy Hopscotch wounds Mommy Longlegs in a confrontation, but spares her life. Huggy Wuggy, Candy Can, and Ollie sleep in shifts, each hoping the other two don't betray them. I didn't know a, a phone could sleep. Braun thinks about winning and what life would be like. So yeah, everyone was fine except Picky Piggy because she fell off a tree. Bunzo Bunny spears Hoppy Hopscotch in the ab abdomen. Oh, okay. They have beef. I did not know that because they're both bunnies. A bee's nest falls near PJ Pugapilla while he's cr climbing a tree. The bees sting him to death. Oh, Nightmare Catnap tries to kill Candy Cat, but she's able to escape. Huggy Wuggy wonders what Boxy Boo is up to. And also, Mommy Longlegs sees smoke rising in the distance and wonders who is responsible. Nightmare Huggy rests in Zerabin and finds comfort thinking of his or her father. Oh, I didn't know Nightmare Huggy had a father. Cappy overhears Poppy and Ollie talking in the distance. Boogie Bot tries to kill a squirrel with an arrow. Oh, dang. And also, Braun explores the arena. Okay, so only two people died today. Happy Hopscotch and, of course, PJ Pugahiller. <laughs> Candy Cat poisons Cappy's drink, but Cappy knowingly switches drinks and Candy Cat dies. Boogie Bot repeatedly stabs Huggy Wuggy to death with a katana. Uh, oh man, rest in peace, Huggy Wuggy. Also, I did not notice that Cappy stabbed, or Cappy, or Candy Cat attempted to kill Cappy, and then Cappy switched the drink. drinks. They're both, oh my god, they're both... They're both beat. They're both cats. Now that's that's really bad betrayal. There's a lot of betrayal. Bunzo Bunny cries himself to sleep. Oh, uh, oh dang. Bron climbs a tree to try to get some rest. Kissy Missy tries to sing herself to sleep again. It's probably sleep well. Nightmare Catnap quietly hums in the night. Ollie approaches Poppy's campsite and asks to create an alliance. Mommy Longlegs involuntarily passes out from sheer exhaustion. And finally, Boxy Boo and Nightmare Huggy tell stories about their districts and lives to each other. So yeah, the only two people who died was Candy Cat and of course Huggy Wuggy. <laughs> Candy 
Cappy shoots two arrows into Nightmare Huggy's body. Bron throws a spear into Ollie's head. He bleeds to death. Mommy Longlegs questions her sanity. Nightmare Catnap receives a bow and arrow from a sponsor. Boxy Boo receives a picture of his family from a sponsor. Bunzo Bunny and Kissy Missy split up to search for much needed resources. And finally, Poppy falls and scrapes her leg while running away from Boogie Bot. So yeah, we lost Nightmare Huggy and Ollie. It's, it's getting pretty close. We only have a couple people left. <laughs> Kissy Missy shoots two arrows into Poppy's body. Oh, the betrayal. Oh, the pain. Kissy Missy and Poppy are friends. Okay, but I mean, it makes sense that Kissy Missy would be the one to turn on Poppy. But it's still pretty sad since they were friends. Bron shoots an arrow at Mommy Longlegs, but misses and kills Bunzo Bunny instead. Nightmare Catnap and Boxy Boo falsely holding hands. Oh, dang, okay, romantic. Cappy is repeatedly woken by nightmares. Oh, maybe Catnap and Huggy Wuggy are in their dreams. Buggy Bob falls asleep in a tree. Okay, so we lost Bunzo Bunny and Poppy. Oh, he's been in there for an hour, bro. You're gonna use all hot water, you idiot. <laughs> Boxy Boo and Boogie Bot spot and kill Mommy Longlegs, rest in peace. Braun and Cappy spot and kill Kissy Missy, huh, the revenge. And finally, Nightmare Catnap discovers a hidden pathway. <laughs> Boxy Boo shamelessly kills Cappy while she is resting. Braun receives a gourmet five-course meal from an unknown sponsor. Whew, Braun is, Braun is really eating good. I think he's gonna win. Nightmare Catnap and Boogie Bot hold hands and cry together. And finally, yeah, that's it. Cappy is the only person who died. <laughs> Braun strangles Nightmare Catnap with a rope found on the ground. Okay. Boogie Bot dreams about home back at his district. Boxy Boo climbs up a tree to make a resting spot. Hey, Quandale Dingle here. Uh, I just escaped prison. Uh, I am staying at my friend Juandale Pringle's house. <laughs> Boxy Boo taints Boogie Bot's food with a poisonous berries, killing him. Oh, dang. And Bron looks at the night stars and sky and wonders if it's real. Gosh, these, these, these nights are really short. That was only two things. Okay, so our only people who's left is Bron and Boxy Boo. Oh, this is coming really close. I, I don't know who's gonna win. It's a mental breakdown. <laughs> Braun ambushes Boxy Boo and kills him quickly. We have a winner! Braun won! Oh my god, let's go! I thought Boxy Boo was gonna win, but Braun. Dude, let's go.